So we have come to the end of this particular class, Safety Accounting 2015. Wonderful application. So getting started, uh, this is just this where we're explaining it. So as a way of uh, recap, if you have not gotten anything out, you I'm very sure you got so much more. Uh, you just want to refresh and I might say some other things along the line. A recap, this is a content. Getting started, the first one here, what we do there is uh for you know this is our application, then how to open the application. Okay, like it's not the same way you open Microsoft Word. Right? So here now, setting up the complaint is another one we're creating our complaint, and that is the process that will take us to create this particular complaint. And let's not forget, as I said, that's why I like recap. If I want to change anything or about the complaint information, I can go to the report and go to complaint. So that's another thing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Report complaint. Uh, basically, I'm moving here as a complaint information. I want to change maybe your address change, phone number change, website, some other things that change. Do you understand? So you can make changes to that. Maybe uh, let's see. Okay. Press start. Do you understand? I move all the thing. Yeah, maybe I just change to because this is an example. By the time you change it like this, it has changed. Or not only that, just come here again, just rebrand from software to software Nigeria, right? So you rebrand your name and so that you can make changes to it. So, and immediately, if I should open and open this guy back, what we have in it, what is software? Let's try that. I'm real, can you see software to Nigeria? So, anytime I want to open this guy back again, that is. What I'm going to have software, can you see? So that is how you can change some of that uh, information. Get it? Okay, I can change some of that information on this. So let's quickly go back to this again. Setting up chat work, and this particular point is very, very, very crucial and important. If you don't get it right from that point, there's no essence of moving on to the next stage. So that's where we create it from the chart of accounts here. This is a quick recap. These are all the accounts that we created during our own chart of account. Then, as well, you can see the breakdown of all these, the reports on general ledger here, charts of accounts. So, we started off with a very small account and at the end of this training, we have about 41 chart of accounts. If you continue operation, your account begin to grow like that as you operate some other new things which might not be here but the basic of what you have will help you along with to know how to handle it so to open the system complaint that's what i just did by reopening the complaint rather than then you can also change the accounting uh period for example now the system is showing anything that we check here even though your report is going to only show you the august which is the current one we are here nigeria this year 2015 August, that's what you're going to do. So, if you want to sh go to uh, July, you can change the accounting period by just coming here of this interface period, select the account period, and do OK. So, you don't want to print any report. Okay. Or if I'm using another lower version that you didn't have, it's quick there. You can go to task system and set account information. Then you change it to desire month. Okay, shift change. Uh, we have a complete security. You can see that I've been logging into this application with my password, which is also very, very important. So, you have a customer, every company needs a customer to survive. You can create that under your maintain menu. Okay, um, let me bring this guy out somewhere here so that it will be very, very easier for us to. Work with strictly. Yep. Okay. Right. Yeah. So customers you can do that by maintain customers. Right. I see these guys. The customer is coming up here. So you create your customer. Then, then talk about uh, vendors. That's your supplier. This is your debtors. Customer. This is your creditors. Don't forget. Also do that here. 
We have employee, so you can create your policy. But one thing you remember that before you can set up employee, you need to do what we call employee default information or employee wizard. Okay, wizard setup, which will allow you, allow you to specify the payroll accounts and some other stuffs as well. So you can get that done from payroll setting here. So also remember that when you are doing this, because we have done this before, when you are doing this, you select uh, in house, you are using other lower version if i using this current version you just do it yourself then again you have still on the same uh employees window that same way you create sales rep as well and that's it you also create purchase rep the only difference between both is that when you are creating employee you select employee if you are creating this rep select sales rep meanwhile employee can also be a sales rep so both if you are creating but this will also click this well, but the ID is going to differentiate both on that particular platform. Okay, moving on quickly as well. Um, we move there to this well, but this well setting is that they will issue uh, receipts and invoice, invoice and receipts. So, if you are a manufacturing organization, you can just go straight by say sales, then to receive for receive, just a receive money. Right, another lower version you have receipts. Yeah. Okay. Um what do we have right now? Payments. So that for your vendor, for your vendor as well, if you are also on a sales, a service company, you can also do invoice, right? And do what we call payments instead. But if you are a manufacturing organization that you do receive goods like raw material, you want to apply stuff like that, you do purchase received, right? And you also do payment right so we've done all those things before then we move quickly to general journal on this general journal this is where is backbone of this accounting application not only this most of the accounting application is the backbone okay so what do we do there we um we do the petty cash the, the payroll the, the fund transfer right we also do some inventory the other time right to count the uh, stock then under the inventory we do say so that and purchase order we also set up our tax authority, which we have been applying it to those for the tax FRS federal inland revenue as Nigerians concern. We change the first information, we work with account register still under uh, tax, which we said takes care of all the cash accounts. Then quickly we can we, uh, we print out, sorry, we save our reports for an auditor to check it. Then not only that, we also convert it to some other accounting, uh, other application like Microsoft, Azure, and PDF. Then we do backup, we do symbol change, which is not part of this, which is uh, some other things that we just come across. And the next decision is our cost outline is actually changing from here, from what we have here, the cost outline is changing to this. So the next training is using this course at my it's actually to itself because I've decided to put something two two together. What's a coincidence? Right? Some stuff that I split here, I put it together so that we will have too much long course outline. So this is how far we are going to. The video for this is available. You can get it from software.com.ng. You can also get it on conga.com. Then the um, you can also call us to come to your places to train on this content application. And let's don't forget that you need to do some pro bono. You only do that to do what to help yourself, not to do those people that are doing pro bono work for. It's not to fear for them, it's just to upgrade and improve yourself. And that's the project that I did to do. And I told you in backup class that when you finish with that, you can just attach, zip it, and send it to you. Once again, thank you for listening to this class.